In this tutorial series, I will show you how you can build a simple birthday book application in Java. Let's review what the problem is before we get started uh, to code in Java and Eclipse. So the task would be, let's review what a birthday book is. So a birthday book is a collection of entries where each entry is going to be a pair. It's going to be a combination of a person's name and also their birthday. And we have some requirements saying that no two entries stored in the book are allowed to have the same name because the uh, as we taught in the lecture, so names are search keys, so they should not be any duplicates. Each birthday is characterized by a month and a day. So whenever you see the term like uh, something is characterized by, you mean that something should be defined as a class, as a template. A birthday is first created to contain an empty collection of entries which means when they are first initialized in, as an object, they should, they should contain an empty collection of entries and they may store up to 10 entries. So this is more like a precondition. So if you try to add the 11th entry into the book, there should be a precondition violation. And so here we talk about the different kinds of uh, operations or methods you can support for birthday book. So given the birthday book, we may inquire about the number of entries currently stored in the book or we may add a new entry into the book, or we may remove the entry from the book. And we might find the birthday given a particular person. Remember, a person's name should be unique, and it should identify a particular birthday into uh, from the book. And also, we can get a reminder list of the names of the people who share a given birthday. For example, if I pass November 1st, in that case, everyone who actually was born on November 1st should be retrieved into the list. So we are going to do the following. So what you're given is a tester class, which is more like a console application. It's called birthday book tester with a main method. So whatever you execute in this class, it can be displayed in the console. So you have basically, uh, a, uh, it has been divided into different sections. So we're going to try our developments into incrementally. Because when we first type everything out into Eclipse, nothing is going to compile because we haven't created any class or any method just yet. So we will just comment everything out just to make sure everything compiles. And then we will gradually comment out one section at a time. So we got in total 35 sections over here. We'll do that one by one in the whole series of tutorial. Okay. And then for each section there, the way we can judge if our implementation is correct is by two things. First of all, in the instructions, we also have the corresponding console output. For example, as soon as we are done with section one, every relevant method in there, we should really check if the output from section one is really equivalent to section one output in this particular box. Okay. And then the second way we can verify our that our output is correct is by writing some JUnit tests. So I will show you both. Okay, let's now get started in the Eclipse just to get things set up so we are ready to go. So now go to your Eclipse. Let's create a new project for this entire tutorial series. File, new, Java projects. So let's call that birthday book application. Okay, and then we'll say finish. Now let's create a new class. For this tutorial, let's not worry about creating packages. Let's just say file, new, and class. So we want to have a new class called birthday book tester with a main method. Let's select that over here and say finish. Okay, so I would suggest before you get started to get things started, you really have to type it out yourself. But for me, I just copy and paste from my computer. Okay, paste. As I said before, nothing will compile because, for example, we have not created any class called birthday book yet, and we have not created the corresponding method. Also, uh, we haven't done that yet. So entry, birthday, so these are the things we're going to create in later steps. Okay, let's make sure we save it, and we'll, from the next, tutor uh, from the next tutorial video onwards, we'll try to show you how to develop, develop incrementally for now. I will just comment everything out. So you can select the whole section there, and then you can say control forward slash. Okay, 
So now everything just compiled, but we're going to comment out one section at a time to uh, in, uh, incrementally com complete our developments. Okay, stay watching.